second most popular Canadian permanent residence pathway is the employer driven pathway. Under this program, people with work experience use the Canadian job market to obtain a job from an approved employer which could lead to Canadian permanent residence. There are two major Canadian residence pathways through the employer driven program. If you visit the Canadian government website again, you need to search for AIPP or the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program. Okay, These two programs and the second program is the RNIP or the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot Program. These two programs are permanent residence pathways through the employer driven program. Today we are going to discuss the AIPP program, a very popular employer driven program for Canadian permanent residency. Under the AIPP program, the employer must apply and get approved by government to take in foreign nationals they become sometimes something called designated. Once they are designated, the employer can hire foreign nationals if they do not find the right employee in Canada. If foreign nationals meet some requirements like at least one year of work experience and a little bit of uh, knowledge of either French or English. English requirement is only around five in IELTS. Once the employer hires the foreign national, the foreign national is referred to the settlement provider who discusses a needs assessment service which will result in a settlement plan. The settlement plan and the endorsement of the employer is filled by the is filed with the province okay which approves the endorsement. Once the endorsement is approved, permanent residence and work permit is processed sometimes simultaneously. Provinces hosts a separate event once a month on employer driven programs. This is specific, uh, very specific program and it is sep uh, a separate uh, discussion entirely. We are not going to mix it up with this event. You can subscribe to this event or any other free Zoom events here at polincis.co slash z. Okay.